The provincial election is fast approaching. May 9th is election day, and it's your opportunity to make an informed decision on who you believe reflects your values and has the best vision for the future of our province. However, we at the Students' Union also understand that it's difficult to keep track of provincial politics and know who to vote for between studying, working, and everything else we have going on with our lives. That's why our objective for this provincial election is to provide all the information you need to meaningfully participate this May. So, how can you know who you might want to vote for? We, the Students' Union, have conducted short interviews with the candidates in Kamloops South and North Thompson. We asked the candidates about their backgrounds, priorities, their vision for post-secondary education, why should students vote for them, and other issues. Go to the candidates page to find those videos. All of that information on candidates is great, but once you decide who you want to vote for, how do you actually vote? Well, General Election Day is on May 9th. For a map with the closest polling station to you, click here. Remember, you can vote at any polling station across the province for your local candidate. So if you're taking a summer job elsewhere in the province, you can still vote for a candidate in the Camelot's North or South Thompson. If you're still on campus in May, you can also vote at an advanced polling station on campus on May 3rd from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. in the Trusu Lecture Hall. So what ID do you need to bring with you? For a full list of acceptable ID, visit the Elections BC website here. But essentially your ID needs to prove who you are and where you live. So if your driver's license or your services card has your current address, that's all you need. Otherwise, you can bring any other two pieces of ID that together show your full name and current address. For example, you can bring your student card and a bank statement, or your social insurance card and a utility bill. So here's what you need to know. Go to our candidate information page to learn who you might want to vote for, and then go to our how to vote page to learn where to vote and what ID to bring. Make sure you come out to the polls May 9th.